Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting Kelo calculus question from Korean SAT math, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. F of x is a cubic function with leading coefficient of one, and g of x is integral from zero to x, f prime of t plus a times f prime of t minus a dt. And a is greater than zero, then g of x has local extrema, only at x is equal to one over two, and 13 over two. The condition is if f of 0 is negative 1 over 2, what's the value of a times f of 1? So it looks like we need to get the value of the a and get the exact function of the f of x so that we can plug it in 1 to the x and multiply these two values. So the question already said f of x is a cubic function with leading coefficient of 1. So f of x has to be anyway looking like x cubed with some other terms. That means derivative of f of x. f prime of x should be looking like 3x squared with the other terms. And about this g of x. g of x is integral from 0 to x of this integrand. So using fundamental theorem of calculus, we can get g prime of x quite easily. So g prime of x is the same as f prime of x plus a times f prime of x minus a. But then again, question said, g of x has local extrema, only at x is equal to 1 over 2, and 13 over 2. We can possibly think about three cases for the graph of this g prime of x. So the first case is looking just like this. Since f prime of x has to be the parabola, quadratic function, the one on the left has to be the f prime of x plus a. The one on the right has to be f prime of x minus a. But make sure g of x should have local extrema only at these two points of the x. That means we should have only two points of sign changes on g prime of x. That means for this graph, we have four points of sign changes. This point, that point, and this point, and this point. That means this is not the graph we need to look at. And second graph is looking just like this. And of course, the one on the left has to be f prime of x plus a. The one on the right has to be f prime of x minus a. But still, for this graph, we have four points of sign changes. This point, this point, this point, and that point. So this is not the graph we should look at. So the exact graph we need to look at should be looking just like this. Of course, the one on the left has to be f prime of x plus a, and the one on the right has to be f prime of x minus a. And it looks like these two points are about the points of sign changes. Then the question is, do we have sign change at this point? The answer is actually no. We can easily check. For example, if you're talking about now this point of the x, at this point of the x, f prime of x minus a has to have positive sign, and f prime of x plus a should have negative sign. So positive times negative is negative. And now this point of the x, it's the same thing. This point of the x, f prime of x plus a should have positive sign, and then f prime of x minus a have negative sign. So positive times negative is still negative. So that means there's no sign change at this point. That means this is the graph we need to look at, and these are two points of sign changes. And I'm pretty sure this point has to be now 1 over 2, and this point is 13 over 2. Then at the same time, f prime of x is a parabola, quadratic function, symmetric. So that is why this is the midpoint of 1 over 2 and 13 over 2. So we can just get 1 over 2 plus 13 over 2 over 2 to have 7 over 2. And then make sure these two parabolas are from horizontal transformation of f prime of x. For example, f prime of x plus a. This is gotten by moving your f prime of x to the left by a. F prime of x minus a was gotten by moving f prime of x to the right by a. So that is why the graph of f prime of a should be looking like this. This is graph of f prime of just the x. 
Then let's get the value of the a, since once again, these two parabolas are gotten by moving this f prime of x to the left and to the right by the same amount a. So that means the a has to be now this distance, or that distance should be the same distance. So since we have the x coordinate at this point as 7 over 2, and x coordinate at this point is now 13 over 2. So that is why the distance has to be simply 13 over 2 minus 7 over 2. That times 1 over 2. So this is then 6 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 has to be the value of the a. Okay, then let's move on to f prime of x. So f prime of x has the graph of this, right? And then it should have the roots at these two points. And once again, this is a parabola and symmetric. So x coordinate at this point has to be simply the midpoint of 1 over 2 and 7 over 2, which is going to be now x is equal to 2 then. And right at this point, this has to be the midpoint of 7 over 2 and 13 over 2 then this has to be x is equal to 5. So using this, we can have a factor in the form of f prime of x. So f prime of x should have x minus 2 and x minus 5 as a factor. But then again, we already know f prime of x should have the form of 3x squared with the other form. That means the leading coefficient of f prime of x is equal to 3. So we should multiply 3 from outside. So let's expand this. So f prime of x has to be the same as 3 times x squared minus 7x plus 10. Distributing this 3 to those three terms inside of the parentheses, 3x squared minus 21x plus 30. This is f prime of x. That means f of x is going to be then the same as, okay, so x cubed minus 21 over 2x squared uh, plus 30x plus now c. But then again, the value of the c should be negative 1 over 2. Since the question already gave you f of 0 is negative 1 over 2. So the value of the c is negative 1 over 2. Okay, so we already got the value of the a, which is 3 over 2, and f of x as x cubed minus 21 over 2x squared plus 30x minus 1 over 2. So it is about plugging in 1 to the x for this f of x and multiply that with 3 over 2 to get the value of what the question is asking for. So if you go ahead and do this, we should have so a times f of 1. This is 3 over 2 times 1 minus 21 over 2 plus 30 minus 1 over 2. So calculating this, we have... 1 minus 1 over 2 is now 1 over 2. 1 over 2 minus 21 over 2 is negative 20 over 2, which is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 30 is now 20. So this value is the same as 3 over 2 times 20. Cancel out, we have now then 30. So the answer is a times f of 1 was just equal to 30. So 30 was the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting killer calculus question from Korean SAT math. How amazing.